Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are reading the story of the very hungry caterpillar. I hope you can see me okay. I'm a little bit sideways, but I'm facing the camera. Um, my phone is dying, and I have to charge the battery, and I can't reach any farther than where I'm at. So, I like this book a lot, and I remember when... Um, I remember... Um, when I read it when I was younger, each book had like holes in it to show how much the caterpillar ate. And I always thought that was really cool. Here we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a big leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out came the egg. Out came a very... Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. We're starting over. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a tiny leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but guess he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salmon, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... A beautiful... Uh, he was a beautiful butterfly. So caterpillars make cocoons, and then they become beautiful little butterflies after the, the, they come out of the cocoon, and they spread their wings, and they fly away. I hope you like that story. Um, I've always remembered it from when I was a kid, and I've always liked it. So have a wonderful rest of your day, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.